Good afternoon. I'm Erica Sargent. We begin with the CBS2 exclusive. One second, an Oak Park teenager was sitting outside. The next, a bullet came out of nowhere and hit him in the head. He's out of the hospital and talking only to CBS2's Charlie DeMar about what happened on the 4th of July. Charlie. Hey, Erica, it is pretty incredible that this teenager, Vincent Solari, he is back home. He's talking, he's alert and in very good spirits after a bullet fell from the sky, hit him in the head. Police here in River Forest, they say that that bullet came from a pretty far distance away, possibly outside of the village. It hit right here. You can see this is where it ended up being. Vincent Solari is pointing to the spot on his head where a bullet fell from the sky and hit him. I'm looking down kind of into my hands like this and then I uh, get hit by something. The 16 year old was outside at a friend's house in River Forest around 1020 PM on the 4th of July when he felt the pain. Somebody asked me what's wrong and I, I like I, I feel up and I feel the bump. Despite a bump and some blood, he was conscious and alert as he was taken to the hospital. And it wasn't until the CT scan that Solari had a pretty good idea of what happened. You can see where it lodged. He had a feeling it was a bullet when they did the CT scan and it showed a very bullet shaped metal object. The bullet was pulled from his head in seemingly perfect condition. After I had realized that there was you know, a bullet in my head and I wasn't dead yet, I wasn't really that worried because I thought, well, it can't get worse from here. It's already in there. We could be planning a funeral right now. Vincent's parents, Joe and Suze. You know, that was an inch one way or another of fundamentally changing all of our lives. Did you consider yourself lucky? Uh, yeah, the odds of a bullet coming out of the sky and hitting you are very low, but the odds of surviving a bullet hitting your skull are also very low. So I could say I'm like the luckiest unlucky person. The River Forest Police Chief says that that bullet, which you saw, was in pretty pristine condition, will be sent to the state lab to be analyzed and potentially find a shooter. We are live this afternoon in River Forest. Charlie DeMar, CBS2 News. Erica. Boy, what a story. Charlie, thank you.